Greetings. This is Zelda Black Light. Welcome to the God Zone. You know, just about everything a creative person does, it's like an experiment. To get the response of the uh, society or the people. They want to get the mindset of the people. So, in Hollywood, mostly uh, Jewish movie makers flock to Hollywood and they made a movie called Birth of, the, of a Nation. It was one of the first <coughs> full length, feature full length movies <coughs> that the uh, Caucasian introduced to the public. Now, I got a some clips from uh, that movie it was made in 19, uh, I think, 14. And you have what they call in them days a bunch of darkies entertaining each other and also entertaining the Caucasians. Some of these are uh, real black actors and some of them are in blackface white people. They got a white man right there. He's the overseer making sure they don't get too wild with it. Now I'm going to let this play while I speak on reason why I'm doing this the way I do it these images are powerful it is into the psyche of an individual that forms his uh, thinking uh, visual impressions is very powerful when you want to program someone's mind or program the thinking of a people. And this movie right here put, portrays black people in a bad light. It was saying that the Civil War was over when black people were free and they needed some strong white men to keep the Negroes in their place so they won't take over the country. So they formed the invisible empire called the Ku Klux Klan. Remember that, that word, invisible empire.
because behind those those uh, masks and sheets see they got the Negro as, as being spooky scary you know but for real those are terrorists to keep the black man in check so they made up this story. Now these are Jewish writers, Jewish filmmakers that make this. And they're always talking about anti-Semitic. When you say something about them, you know. See, the, the, Jew, the, the so-called Jews are the type of people that throw the rock and hide their hand, you know. And uh, you can't never guess who who be throwing that rock. So it's in the Bible that Jesus peeped this, you know. And this guy right here supposed to be a black man. But it's a white man in, uh, with a black face on. He's getting ready to terrorize this... Uh, Pure lily white girl. Cause you got a horny black man who was fighting in the war. Now, now that he's a free man, he's going to rape a, a little white girl. So the Caucasian used these types of images. Uh, all the time you know sometimes he's use it in a sub subliminal type way you know overt covert he could hide he, he didn't became a master scientist of uh, movie making and when television came out he even got better see so we're gonna do this in a couple of parts maybe three or four parts cuz I'm trying to get get my point across I'm gonna take my time with it now the Ku Klux Klan nowadays still it still exists but it's hidden in high places. The Ku Klux Klan back then, reason why they covered their face, because they were uh, public figures, you know, judges and politicians and lawyers and uh, they didn't have a real big police force back then, you know. So, uh, they know that, you know, what you see sometimes is what you get. But, it's a science behind this. But they experiment. But they know simple psychology you know they've been studying the psyche of peoples you know ethnic group different ethnic group for years and they know how to place a thought in your head or take a thought out your head and replace it so this is the root of an institution called the movie industry. It's the root of white supremacy, so-called white supremacy, you know. And it's still going on today and we have a learned 
we have the black men uh, have confirmed, conformed, and confirmed its effects by the way he acts today, his behavior today. It's erratic, very often over emotional. You know, we're going to demonstrate this because we're going to show you how we uh, play to the camera and how we try to. get the approval of the white man all the time. You know. He can he uh now look the white man is telling you that the black man right here is wild and woolly and he want his woman so that's why the those white women call the police on the black man ain't doing nothing they still show this in private places in people's basements or in their private parties they show this movie This is black light. Saying sugar, sugar, salt is salt. If the light didn't turn on and went off, it ain't my fault. 